everybody, welcome back to my channel. Now I know that there are people who really love to organize and are very neat natured people. I truly, truly wish I was one of those people, but I'm not. Fortunately, I married someone who is much closer to that end of the spectrum than me. So the rest of our house, he kind of keeps pretty neat. However, he does not go anywhere near my closet. And at the moment, my closet is a stage 10 disaster. Honestly, looks like a bomb went off in there. So today is the day I'm locking myself in this room and cleaning out my closet. So to be completely honest, there's a lot of clothes in my closet that don't really fit me very well at the moment. And I have, keep telling myself that, oh, they're gonna fit, they're gonna get fit, they're gonna fit. And they still don't fit. So I am trying to just give myself grace and not stress about that. It has been a pretty rough two years going through four IVF egg retrievals. I was pregnant for 22 weeks. Like the fact that I'm probably 10 pounds heavier than I was two years ago, like I just need to give myself <laughs> grace and not stress about that. However, I have faith that someday those clothes will fit me again and I really like a lot of them. So I do, I'm not at a point where I'm ready to get rid of them, but they are clogging up my closet and I can't see what I have that actually does fit me right now. So I have decided that today is the day I'm going to tackle this situation. I went and I bought these three bins. So that is my limit. I cannot put more clothes away for a later day than fit in these three bins, which honestly, I hope I don't even have that many, but this is my maximum. And I'm gonna go through, see what I wanna get rid of, what I wanna keep for later, and what fits me now, and what I wanna keep out so that I actually can see what I have going on in my closet. So I'm here, I'm locking myself in my room. I've got my bins, I got myself some motivation, and Let's get to it. So yeah, this is the current situation. As you can see, I mean, there's just stuff everywhere slammed in here. I mean, you can't even see what's here because there's just stuff. Like, I don't even know what this stuff is hanging up right here. The f This doesn't even fit on the shelves. It's falling all over the floor. I mean, look at that. All my t-shirts are just everywhere. We've got the shoes. This, I think, all fell at one point. None of these drawers even close. And then we come around here and it just gets worse. <laughs> We've got more, all, these are all my dresses over here. We've got suitcases. <laughs> We've got more stuff, more stuff, all the way up there stuff. I mean, it is just not a good situation in this closet. Oh, and then there's more over here. So yeah, we have a pretty big task ahead, but let's get going. I don't even really know where to start, but I think I'm just gonna start with this rack right here since this is usually where I grab clothes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start here because I just need to start somewhere and get going. <laughs> stack of clothes right here. Luckily, this was that shelf right at the front of my closet. So this is the stuff that I kind of wear a lot and it's in my regular rotation. So I know off the top of my head if it fits or not. So hopefully I can knock out this stuff fairly quickly and then get into the stuff that I'm gonna have to do more trying on and deciding if I wanna keep it or not. I am not sure about this shirt. I've, I don't think I've actually ever worn it, um, but it's like, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It has like the big sleeves, maybe for like a holiday outfit or something. It's quite hot for right now, um, but I guess it fits decently. I guess I'll keep it. This is such a cute little top. It still has the tag on it, as you can see. And I could have been wearing this all summer since it's sleeveless um, with this cute little embellishment right there. And like, oh, it's so cute. Well, 
Just found myself a new top that I can wear for the next couple weeks. I used to wear these pants all the time. And they're just like the perfect summer pants because the sides are open so they don't get too hot and they're like a linen material. But they got so dirty the last time I wore them. And I don't know if I've really tried to get it out or not. They came from Amazon though, so I might just see if they still have them because I really do like these pants, but the stains on the bottom of these just aren't looking too good at the moment. If I can find them, I'll link them in the description of this video because they are truly the best pants. I have them in blue as well, and I wear them, or I used to wear them all the time. Yay, they do still have it on Amazon. So it's actually this little two-piece set, but I don't think I ever wore the top. Uh, but like I said, I have worn these pants so many times and I even got a pair for my mom and she wears them all the time too. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a fresh white pair, uh, but I'll go ahead and link it in case you wanna check it out as well. I found the blue pair of the Amazon pants. Mine are a little faded since I have literally worn them probably a hundred times, but Glad to see they still fit in these. Obviously, don't get as stained as the white. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm kind of heartbroken right now. I love this shirt so much. It's like, it's an L.L. Bean quilted shirt that I've wanted for so long and my husband finally got it for me. And look at the back of it. What has gotten all over it? Oh my gosh, I'll have to see if I can get that out, but it doesn't look promising. So are flannels still popular? I have a lot of them. Some of them are pretty old. I mean, this one has like pockets in the side even, but I don't know, like, is this still, <laughs> is this still a look? I guess I'll keep a couple of them. So I'm honestly not sure why I bought this. Like it fits, but it just doesn't really, look that good like it doesn't do anything for me so I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one so this one I really like but I feel like it's just slightly a little small so I won't grab it and I won't wear it so I think this one is gonna go in my bin to save for later if anybody who works at Dudley Stevens happens to be watching this video can I just say that you need to bring this style back I don't know what it's even called, but it has elastic around the bottom. It is the most comfortable style of any of their uh, sweaters and turtlenecks that I have. And like, I can't find it anymore. I think I got it in like the clearance section a couple of years ago, but it is like my favorite go-to <laughs> shirt in the winter. And I would love to have it in more colors. So please, please, please bring this one back. if anyone is watching. Didn't know, I love turtlenecks and I love this shirt so much. I think it was like $5 at Walmart, like oh, maybe like six or seven years ago, but it is like so tacky and so festive and so perfect. So definitely keeping this one. So this is another Dudley Stevens and I feel like it's just a little bit too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my bin for later. I've never worn this. It still has the tags on it, but it's like actually really cute with an open back. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's from Fabletics. I tell you, I have probably worn this shirt 200 times in the last 10 years. I'm not joking. So I think, I don't know if this is still in style. It's probably about to come back around since I've had it for so long. Um, but I just can't seem to get rid of it because it's just such a comfortable shirt. Um, so I guess I'll keep this one. Poppy is like, what is going on? So this is another one that's just like a little too tight in like the arm area. Uh, but I have worn this so many times. It's just such a great plain little black dress. Uh, so definitely keeping this one and hopefully... We'll be able to bring it back out. Second assistant has joined me, but I am done with my first rack. So the majority of these are keeping and they do fit. All of these are what I'm keeping in here. Not surprising since this was at the front of my closet. These are 
ones I've probably either purchased more recently or worn recently. So a lot to keep. These are the ones I'm going to put in my bin to uh, store for later. And then this is the pile right here of things that I am getting rid of. So let's put this back and get the next shelf. Look at all those extra hangers. I love to see it. <laughs> now I can actually put away my laundry that's currently being washed. So this is the rack that I just went through and organized. So it's still pretty full, uh, but definitely not as crammed as it was. I like to keep this rack as like my, whatever's in season, my like kind of go-to everyday clothes I'm gonna grab for. So a lot of this stuff is kind of wintry. Like these are all sweaters and jackets and then long sleeve like turtlenecks and stuff and then only this section right here are actually short sleeves so it's september in north carolina so it's still really hot here fall is coming but i won't be able to wear this kind of stuff for at least a few more months so once i get the rest of this stuff more organized i may move this towards the back for the next couple months until it's actually cold enough to wear it. But I think next I'm gonna go down here. These are my pants. So I don't even know what's going on down here, but let's get them out. Can I just say, I love these pants <laughs> so much for the holidays. They're a little tight around the waist to where if you sat down, they wouldn't be very comfortable. I think I'm gonna leave them out just in case I need to wear them to like a holiday party or something like that where um, I'm not gonna really be sitting a ton, uh, but I wouldn't wanna wear them to work or anything because they're just a little too tight, but I think they're so cute. So I'm keeping them out and we'll see if I wear them this year. These pants are from Costco, so like, the majority of my pants are honestly, but they're actually velvet. You probably can't tell, but they are the softest and I'm so happy that they fit. Makes me sad. These are, they're actually like sweatpants and really comfortable. And as you can see, very sparkly, but they're just a little tight. So I probably wouldn't wear them in the current state. So these are gonna go in my bin for later. These are seersucker pants and they're super stretchy, but I don't think they look very good, honestly. And I've never really found anything that matches to wear with them. So I think maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these because they've been taking up room in my closet for way too long. So these are actually a pair of maternity jeans that I bought last year when I was pregnant and never had a chance to wear them, but they do still fit. So maybe keeping these will be a good omen <laughs> that I will need to wear them sometime in the fairly near future. These are really comfy and really cute, but I need to get them hemmed because I obviously am never going to wear them as long as they are dragging on the floor like this. So. These are not going back in my closet because they are going to go to the seamstress so I can actually wear them. But did anybody else have these exact pants, like 25 pairs of them throughout middle school and high school? Like they're khaki material from American Eagle with like a little boot cut at the bottom. Like I swear, I had these, these are the navy blue. I had the navy blue and I had the khaki color and I had so many pairs of these, and they are the best pants, the most comfortable, and I found them at American Eagle, I think last year. So these are like a little tight, like the pockets kinda 
pulling a little bit, but they stretch a lot and they're really comfortable. So I'm going to keep them in my closet and I'm sure I'll end up wearing them because so far, uh, a lot of my pants don't fit. So <laughs> I'm kind of low on pants, but I just thought this was so fun to find these at American Eagle. Like literally the pants I lived in growing up. Expecting this, so it's not super surprising, but my pile of get rid of pants is pretty big. So these are all the ones I'm getting rid of. These are all the ones that are going back in my closet. And these are the ones going in my bin for later. Uh, the only pair of like denim jeans besides the maternity pair that fit were these with the elastic waist. So maybe I should try to find a pair of jeans before we get to the fall uh, that fit since most of them ended up in this pile over here. <laughs> Every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better. All right, well, that pants rack is looking much better. So at least we have a small win. Now, I think next, I don't even know what all this stuff is on the floor. So I think I'm just gonna grab all of that and then start working through these shelves because I know those are a lot of shorts. Um, and stuff like that. And then I'll move on to my t-shirts. So this is my next area to tackle. All right, so this pile was everything that was thrown on the floor and this was everything that was crammed onto that one shelf of shorts. So I have no idea what's here, what fits. And Poppy, that is not really helpful at all. Apparently the pile on the floor was a lot of long sleeve shirts, so they must have fallen off that shelf. But I think this is gonna be a theme with a lot of these. They're just, they fit, but they're just like a little tight. And if it's, if I'm wearing just like a t-shirt, I wanna be comfortable. And so I just don't think I'm probably gonna grab these. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the bin for this season. Um, so they're not taking up space in my closet when realistically I'm probably not going to wear it. Well, this was also on the floor. Um, and I think, I don't know, it fits. I just don't really like it, which is probably why it ended up on the floor. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I love these little overalls and I wear them over like a swimsuit all the time. They're like a little smaller than they used to be, but they still fit. Uh, so I'm going to keep these out. Summer's almost over anyways, but I may have a need to wear them over the next couple weeks. All right, this little tennis skirt, like it technically fits, but I just, I don't think it really looks that good. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this. I don't think the pleated style is maybe best for me. So since it's September and I've been wearing shorts for the last several months, I had a pretty good idea of what fit and what didn't. So here's my stack of like athletic type shorts that are going back in my closet. And then here's my like nicer shorts that are going back in. This is the pile that I'm getting rid of. And then this is the pile that is just a little on the small side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in a bin. If I didn't wear them all summer, I'm probably not gonna wear them all winter. So time to just clear them out. Well, all of my shorts fit nicely on the shelf now. <laughs> now I just need to get the shelves around it. So that's my tank tops and my pajamas. So I will go ahead and get those next. <laughs> tank tops in like every single color they're just plain comfort colors uh tank tops and I used to wear them like every day to the gym but they are just a little tight for like a workout top right now so I just don't see myself grabbing this and putting it on so I think all of these which is probably half of that tank top pile are gonna have to go in my bin for a later day so the stack right here, they are all the exact same shirt and these are all the ones going in the bin. I put a bunch of tank tops over here in the bin. I actually am only keeping 
this little stack in my closet. And then there's a couple over there they were just kind of dingy white, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of those. I mean, look at my tank top shelf. <laughs> you could actually fit more on there. And now to tackle this pile of pajamas. These pants, when I went to Thailand like eight years ago, and they're so cool, but honestly, I don't think I've ever worn them. So it's probably time to get rid of them, even though they have that cool sentimental value, but they're just taking up space in my closet. Right, so here's where I landed with the pajamas. These are gonna go back in my closet. These I'm gonna put in the bin, only super special ones that I just don't really like how they fit right now. And then this stack over here, I'm gonna get rid of. Some of them are a little tight. Some of them just, I haven't worn in several years. So time to just clear out the shelf. All right, progress pick. These shelves look so good down here now for the t-shirts. Shirts are just such a tough one because I get so sentimental about ones that I've gotten from different things or places that I've been. So these are the stack that's going back in my closet. These I'm saving, it's probably too many and I shouldn't save them, but I just can't get rid of them. And then these are the ones that I am getting rid of. So hopefully my shelf is big enough to accommodate the ones I'm keeping. Ah, this looks so much better. <laughs> my t-shirts actually fit. And there's even a little bit of space up there for more. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna move over here. This is my leggings and long sleeve t-shirt shelf. <laughs> guys i wear this shirt every single thanksgiving so of course i'm gonna keep this one all right so here's the long sleeve shirts that i'm gonna keep these are my save for laters and these are all going to donate I was ruthless with the leggings these are the only ones going back in my closet both of these piles are going to be donated and then i'm just keeping one pair in my bins so I'm finally starting to see the progress. We've got this section all looks really good. And then you turn the corner and it is a mess. But I think I want to do my shoes last. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this and come around the corner over here and start. I guess I'm just going to start on these shelves right here. And then I've got that one and then all my dresses. And I know a lot of this stuff back here probably doesn't fit. Here's the pile from that top shelf in there. I can already see a lot of stuff that I have not worn in years. So... I think this will be a good one to really get rid of some stuff. This is my go-to shirt for a job interview and I've worn it like, I think when I got two of my jobs with like a black cardigan. So I think I have to keep it just because it has some good luck to it, I guess. I have several of these that are the same shirt but like different prints and they're, they're like Lily Pulitzer. Like there's another one that's the same. It's like, a little on the tight side but it fits but it's just low in the front like obviously I have a sports bra on right now but if I didn't it's just like a little too low that like I can't wear it to work so I just struggle really ever wearing these but I really like it I mean it's cute with the crabs and stuff so I think I'm gonna keep them and maybe try to be intentional about wearing them and then if like I get to next summer and like I, if I get through next spring and I still haven't worn them, then I think it's probably time to part with it, but I don't think I'm there right now. So as expected, this is the pile for donation. So a good chunk of that. Um, this is what's going back in my closet. So a fair amount. And then these I'm saving. A lot of them are really cute rompers that I used to wear all the time and I really hope someday I can wear them again. Well, as you can see, this shelf now has a ton of space after getting rid of all of that. So I'm gonna move on now down to this bottom shelf right here. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh, look at these shirts. They are so pretty and I've never worn any of them. <laughs> Three of them are mediums. This one's a large though, so it might fit. I'm gonna try them on and see, but I'm definitely not getting rid of any of these. They're so pretty. Okay, so good news, the pink one fits. Oh, I love it so much. I'm not super optimistic about the other ones since this is a bigger size, but I'm gonna try. So this is the same shirt, just a size smaller, and it's just tight right in here, and I just know that I won't grab it uh, because of that. So I'm gonna keep it for later, um, but definitely looking forward to wearing this one because it is so pretty. This is one of my favorite shirts, and I've worn it so many times, but look at what is going on in the armpits. Like, oh my gosh. I don't think that's salvageable. <laughs> I can try to wash it again, but... It's like deodorant galore. Are vests still in style? Let me know in the comments what you think. I guess I'm gonna keep it because I mean, it never hurts to have a vest, but I don't know, are these in or not? Hey, okay, another shelf done. Here's my donate pile, my keep in the closet pile, and my keep in my bins pile. And look at all these hangers. I'm glad I didn't buy new hangers. Okay, so that made a ton of space on this bottom shelf. Now, honestly, why do I have a laundry basket full of, I don't even know what, on the floor down here? So, I'm going to haul this thing out and figure out what it even is and then do something with it. All right, so after inspecting this, it is so random. It's like the Halloween costume I made last year. And then, honestly, I think this is stuff I was supposed to get rid of after I cleaned out my closet the last time so I'm not really sure why it's still here um, but I think this one should be fairly quick because I think most of it is gonna be donate All right so as expected this is all donate there's one pair of sweatpants that I do like and a pair of pajamas that I'm gonna keep but the rest of this can all go right, so we're in the home stretch here but this one's gonna be a beast this is all of my dresses and I know there's a lot of dresses in here that I really like, but they don't really fit. So I'm gonna have to try them on and figure out what to do with each one. <laughs> rompers they're my favorite they're all basically the same just like different prints and styles and i love them so much and i used to wear them all the time and now they're all just like slightly too tight so ah, these are gonna go in my bin to save and i really hope that someday in the not too distant future i can wear them all again so i totally forgot about this i think i bought it at the end of last season but it is so cute and i cannot wait to wear it this winter so uh, all right well this was the section that i was kind of dreading the most so here's the pile of things i'm getting rid of which you can see is kind of small the pile that's going in my bins for later is very large but there's a lot of stuff i really really like in there and i'm just not ready to get rid of and then here's the pile of stuff going back into my closet well that made a huge difference look how much space there is now between all those dresses all right, almost done. I need to figure out what's going on on the floor down here. I think these are all just bags and they really just need to be organized. And then I've got sweats over here um, that I need to go through. And that's really the last section of clothes. And then I'll tackle the shoes. Well, this backpack has a huge hole in the bottom. So I'm not really sure why I haven't just thrown it away. So this is gonna go in the trash. And then this bag, um, it's not going in the trash, but it's just cool. So this was our wedding monogram and they embroidered it onto this bag. And it's kind of too pretty to really use. So I don't really use it very much. Obviously I need to because it's just sitting in the floor of my closet and it's way too pretty for that. Oh God, who has a ton of these things sitting around? <laughs> There's such like, not useful bags. I don't know. Should I throw it away or should I keep it? 
this is so off topic, but for my wedding, I was trying to find sparkly sneakers to wear for my reception and I couldn't find any that I liked, but these were like my favorite shoes at the time. They were just from Target and they were like wedge sneakers and they were so comfortable. And so I took a pair and completely bedazzled them in my garage using glue and glitter and like it's about to be our fourth anniversary next week, and these things are still, like, in perfect condition. Maybe I should wear it out to dinner for our anniversary. What do you think? Well, first, the obvious. I have entirely too many sweats. This is a little insane. So, um, I don't have a lot of room left in my bins. I said three was my max. That one's almost full, and that one's also almost full. So, I'm going to have... Some decisions to make here uh, with these sweats. Not surprised that I want to keep a lot of this. So like all of this stuff, I wanna keep these all. These are definitely donate. These are probably donate and I might put one or two items in the bins, but it depends if I can't fit all of this back in the closet. So I'm gonna try to put this back and see where I land. All right, so the last drawer in there was overflowing of swimsuits. So this is a lot of swimsuits and I know there's gonna be a lot that I can get rid of. All right, that was pretty easy. These are my keeps. These are for my bin and these are to donate. Uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So here's my uh, sweats and swimsuit section, which you can see is now nice and neat. So the only thing I have left is shoes. Now it looks like my shoe rack kind of fell apart and then everything fell off of it. So I need to fix that and then try to find everybody's match and just get them a little organized um, and then kind of clean that up a little bit too. <laughs> We are done. Here is the aftermath. Uh, about 10 million hangers that I need to find somewhere to put. Uh, that's a lot of hangers. And a whole bunch of trash bags full going to donate. So it looks like there's about six, seven, eight, nine. One of those is trash. Um, and then three bins. They're not overflowing, but they're all pretty full. So I was able to stick to my three bin limit, which I'm happy. Finally, the grand reveal. Look at that. You can walk right through. Everything's neat and tidy and organized, and I can see what I have. It's not so overflowing of stuff. And then come around the corner. And same thing over here. I've got space extra room, all of that. So I think I probably could do a little more organization around, you know, seasons and that kind of thing. But for now, I'm super happy with this and it is such a relief to have it done. Well, that was a day, seven hours, but I feel so accomplished, so much better. Just so glad to have that done. So if any of you have any kind of chores or tasks or anything that you've just been putting off and have just been always in the back of your mind, maybe this is your sign to just go ahead, take a day and knock it out because I promise you're going to feel so much better. Now I'm about to go take a shower and have a nice Saturday evening and I'll just feel so accomplished for the day. Uh, so always good to knock these chores out even if it is like seven hours of miserable going through your closet, but it feels good to have it all done. And let me know in the comments if you like this kind of content. I also really need to clean out my bathroom cabinets. So let me know if that's something that I should film or just do it on my own. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. And if you like this video or you like this kind of content, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and then subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. Well, thanks for being here. I will see you in the next video. Bye.